Hello guys, how are you doing my people? I hope you guys are doing well. I went to the market and I also passed through supermarket. I, I also made my hair as you can see and it, it looks so so cute guys. Look at this. Look at this. Uh, I'll be traveling this uh, this week. Yes, we we lost one of my uncles, so I'll be will be going for burial by Tuesday. I also lost a friend that we usually serve with her in church. So I feel so so low, guys. We thank God for life, we thank God for good health, we thank God that we thank God for the blood of life, we thank God that we have seen today. Uh, so when you see me somehow distracted, it's because I feel so low today. Yes, guys. So, but I have to do this because if I don't do this today, I don't think I'll be able to do it any other day because from the barrio i even before tuesday i'll be hosting yes i'll have to do this today so guys i hope you guys are good i hope you're doing well together with your family i hope you celebrated your easter well <laughs> our ours was nice we celebrated the the, the selection of jesus christ but it ended up with bad news Yes, the, that is the same day that we lost my uncle. I didn't, I went to the market the, the day that I was doing uh, the other, the previous video. I went to the market, but I was not able to do a video. Yes, so this is the next week on Saturday, because I told you I, Saturdays are for the market. So this is the other Saturday. So I was not able to to film the ones that I went to the market the other Saturday. Yes, so today I went to the market. We bought some few things as I've told you. We, we passed through supermarket and we were so, so busy today because there was still few things we were, we were doing as family members. Some few errands here and there. We also have meetings in the evening. It has been a very busy week, a sad week. Yes, it has been a very, very sad week. But we thank God for everything. Yes, we thank God for everything. And again, who are we? We just thank God. We just thank God. I tell you guys, when you wake up and you're okay, travel and come back. Just thank God. Just thank God. Yes, so I want to do a quick one. I want to show what we got. First of all, what I got from the supermarket. Then I share with you what I got from the market. And also, I think I will also clean with you guys a quick one. So the, the first thing that I got, a packet of sugar, two kgs, baking wheat flour, I got flesh fry three, three, is it three? No, two liters, two liters. Pure white icing sugar. Yes, my sister will be coming and my sister is a baker, so I'll be doing some cake for us. leaves I got some desiccated coconut also for baking beef masala I got few super bright washing for washing utensils but I have already removed one guys I didn't needed this. I've already removed the one. Some vanilla essence. I 
I also got some few toilet trays, so toilet cleaner, the Felfex toilet cleaner. I got this one. Like this. Scoring powder, all purpose cleaner. This is fleshener. I also got the fleshener. Stella. Stella fleshener. This is what we use. This is what we usually use. So I got that one. I got bubble brew. Also, this one is for my for our toilet bowl. This is what we usually use. I got this caramel shower gel sedoso. You got this. I got these two hand wash aqua brew two hand wash. And I got some pads here. These are pads. This is yeast, so I got angel yeast. So this is yeast for pastry for our pastries. I also have some few things for my son's breakfast: chocolate. Chocolate. Filos, crunchy oat, this one's first I that is it. Oh. That is it. That is what we got for from the supermarket. So let me show you what we got from the market. So that is it guys, that is it, I don't know if there is something else that I've left. So let me share with you what I got from the market, very quick, and then I clean with you guys. So the first thing I got is done here. I got tomatoes, 2 kgs. I got carrots and some red pepper. I got cereals. This this one. I got dangus, green crumbs. I hope you can be able to see. This is one kg. I should be able to see. I got some ginger, got some ginger, I got cabbage, sweet potatoes, Finally, I got some pineapples. Got some pineapples. Two of them. So that is it. That is what I got from the market. Uh, just few things that we we really needed. I want to clean with you guys, like to clean and organize with you. Yes, guys.
For cleaning, I am going to use baking soda. This is what I'm going to add in the cleaning water. And then later, I'll add uh, this white vinegar to, uh, to rinse all my vegetables.
For organization, I am going to use this cling film to lap uh, my vegetables. I'm going to lap uh, my cabbage, red pepper, and one of my pineapples. And for, for tomatoes, I'm going to keep them the way they are at the crisper drawer in the fridge and the, also the carrots. And also for ginger, but for, for the sweet potatoes, I'm going to keep them the way they are in my kitchen luck. Hello guys, how are you doing? Uh, today it's on a Monday. Uh, I'm heading out. I'm going to make uh, my nails. I'm going for pedicure and manicure. So, and I thought it's good I tag you along. Um, I'm heading to Johnny's Place. Most people in this town, most people know Johnny's Place. So I'm heading to Johnny's Place and I'll show I'll tag you along, uh, and those people who doesn't know where Johnny's place, it's in where the um, G4S building is. It is in the in the second floor. Yes, no second, no first floor. He is in the first floor, and he does very very good job. But for me, it is Davy. Davy is the one who make my nails. He is the one who has been making my nails all along for like two years. So that's why I'm heading, and he does very very good job. Yes. This is my the bag of today. This is my Elad bag. And I'm also calling a jacket. You know, we are in a in a rainy season. So I'm heading with this. And, and this is my outfit of today. It's a jumpsuit. And of course, I'm wearing sandals because I'll be doing pedicure and manicure. And let me show you. So 
so that's how it looks that's how it looks guys so as i told you it's a jumpsuit and i'm wearing sandals as i have told you so so i have some few elats here and there checking our cold and we'll be wearing black and white tomorrow ladies i and my daughters but for men they'll be wearing white and navy blue so kind of there are a few things i'll be checking and i'll be good to go i'll be hosting that is from tomorrow in the evening i'll be hosting my family my siblings and also my mom so let me hand out I don't want to take much of your time. Let me help out and then I'll, I'll share with you about my nails. Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way Birds jumping and I hear my name Grasping into a life Life is happy but it's so insane We must merely make a start Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah, we'll never be alone. Savannah, the beauty of the world. Savannah, let's all take a walk. Savannah. Just begun. We will always take a stand for the people, for the land. Let's go back to when we were young. For the animals we stand. Let's go back. Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah, we'll never be alone. Savannah, the beauty of the world. Savannah, let's all take a walk. Savannah. Hello guys, today it's on uh, Thursday, uh, it's a day 
after it's a day after my friend's burial and two days after my uncle's burial and it's allowed 10 o'clock or 11 it's allowed 11 uh, and i want to do i want to arrange my living room i want just to do a refresh of a living room uh, my sister left a uh, her kid with me my nephew and they are praying a lot with my son so you can see my house is unkept um, I need to tidy up as you can see kids are kids and they have to pray kids are kids and sometimes they pray in the house now now that they are outside praying I just want to tidy up uh, like just a refresh uh, like just dust here and there and tidy up so i think that is it nothing big nothing much i just want to tidy up my living room and that is it so guys let's do it guys as we tidy up my living room i just want to share some few tips uh, with you on how to cope with grief no one knows how to deal with grief or how to cope with it when death of a loved one or a close friend hits the bible says blessed are those who mourn for they will be comforted matthew 5 4 I want to share a few tips briefly, uh, which I have gathered from Google on how to cope with the emotional experience when grieving. Just a few of them. Uh, number one, understand that not everyone will know how to help you. Don't be hurt or disappointed when people are not able to give you what you need. Many won't know what to say around you, which words to use, or which subject to discuss uh, or to omit at the moment. Number two, talk about how you feel. This may be difficult to people who are not used to talk about emotions, but healing will not occur if you keep all you are feeling inside. Talk about what you feel. Talk about how you miss them. Talk about what kind of a person they were. Your anger and sadness too. Number three. Accept that your life will likely change. 
it's important uh, to remember that we are forever changed by the death of our loved ones or someone we are close to. Our life will forever be affected. But the good news is that grief can also produce significant psychological and spiritual growth depending on how you handle it. Number four, participate in grief rituals. There are a number of rituals that can help you in grieving process, including memorial service, wakes, and prayer services. You may decide to develop other unique rituals such as visiting cemetery or lighting candles on special days. However, some extensive rituals like keeping their room exactly as it was at the time of death can be unhealthy and may keep you too stuck in the past, not able to engage in the life in the life in the present. Five, find comfort in your spiritual or religious practices. One of the great benefits of having spiritual or religious belief is that they can provide one with great comfort in dealing with any kind of adversity. Just the act of going to church, playing, talking to members, or a spiritual father can provide comfort in dealing with grief. Six, understand the likely impact of anniversaries, birthdays, and milestones. Major events such as anniversaries and birthdays have a way of intensifying our feelings and memories of our loved ones. You can develop a ceremony of lighting candles or visiting their grave on those particular dates. Seven, be patient with your grief. Realize that dealing with a loss is neither easy nor entirely predictable. And the length of the grieving process is hard to estimate. It may take weeks, months, or years. Last but not the least, seek professional help. If your grief feels like it's just too much to handle, don't be afraid to ask for some professional help or support. Asking for help is a sign of strength and not weakness. These are just but few. Kindly visit the website where I sourced some of these tips by clicking on the link below on my description box for more details. It's my prayer that you will be able to overcome your grief.
my living room it's all clean yes looks so so clean and tidy and um, my babies even came inside they have been playing in the corridor as i refresh uh, the living room yes and now it's clean i didn't uh, place uh, flowers or decors uh, on the coffee table yes because that is the place where uh, my kids uh, my son and my nephew pray the most and i don't want them to break it or even to pray with it and and i don't want to limit them uh, how they pray so that's the reason why you see my coffee table doesn't have any any decor uh, on it i hope i have motivated you to clean your space guys and for the new subscribers thank you for joining the family Thank you for your support. We are on the road to 300 subscribers and I feel so, so supported. Thank you very much, guys, for keeping it here. Feel free to share uh, any of my video. Like and comment so that my video will be recommended uh, to so many people here on YouTube. My next video will be more of cooking. Yes, so keep it here and don't go too far. So until my next, it's a good bye-bye. I love you.